sound, you snooze. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the plays, John Madden. It's a mini, give it Sunday magic. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the plays, John Madden. It's a mini, give it Sunday magic. It is not a game, it is not a game. Banging on your chest when I come through the pain. Never been about the money or the fame. But when it bring both, so here we go again. Wins on the road, yeah, I got those. Couple records that I hold, yeah, I got those. It's the playoffs, the team just got home. We ain't going now, sad when it matter most. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the plays, John Madden. It's a mini, give it Sunday magic. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the plays, John Madden. It's a mini, give it Sunday magic. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. It ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate. Full from all of the base. My eight spoon going, big son told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King, crown me lounge in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant, climb to the top. Funny style, on elevators could never fade us. I peep day to stain any time they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders, don't hate us. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. They should have cred with it. You be the fight or flight, I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of a fair million. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Straight ahead, it's a matchup of unbeatens between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. to go now in week six of the NFL season and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. So this game of our Charles, you know, the talk of the NFL world all week, two unbeaten teams. You rarely see such a matchup this deep into a season. I would agree with that because normally you might get one team undefeated for a while, but two teams like this, and I remember in preseason, you looked at schedules and said, I think these two are on a collision course. It'll be interesting to see if they actually get there, and they did. And to me, the winner of this game has to wear the crown of Super Bowl favorite. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an Eagle first down. The Eagles hit a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing Check jerseys Check come at you. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Reno, Reno! On first and ten, it's Sanders. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. Seems like a perpetual search for productive receivers for Philadelphia, but they think that Quez Watkins might be a keeper after his 2021. Earned a starting spot for much of the season and put up over 600 yards while averaging 15 per catch. They're giving the former six-rounder another opportunity and seeing if those numbers will keep growing. Trayvon Diggs getting the tackle. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Throwing on second down. Hurts. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Weather like this are always treacherous for kickers. A good sign early, though, is he's able to put that one through. And you remember him right before the kick stomping around his area to make sure that things were going to hold for his plant foot, and it did. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down.
This life is a path to infinity. We spent your whole life trying to blow up, but Elohim never had time for donuts. The beat go ham, no time for cold cuts. The game like big bitch came to join up. Yeah, I'm still independent. They sold a million records, yeah. It used to be on my checklist, big diamonds don't need a necklace. Look, we built the sound like it's double speed Tetris. I cannot build without God in it. We built the sound, you can't copy this. I never brag, it's just confidence. I never rap for your compliments. I wrote this one for the indie grind. If you ain't sign on the dotted line. Can't buy my soul with no dollar signs. The industry so full of chocolate dice. I don't follow trends. Sit down with my chest. No, I will not bend. Gain time in it. Gain time. I don't follow trends. Sit down with my chest. I will not bend. Gain time in it. Gain time. Run it up. 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 You gotta put in that work, dog. I put the kingdom first. I know that you gotta wait for your turn sometimes to build something really sustainable. Work on your catalog so the day that you finally pop off, you'll see it's not just a once off. You put in time, the harvest is ready, it's ripe. I thank God for the payment. That's a solid foundation. When I finally make it, I'll give God all the praises. DLD who conquered evil forces. I don't trust in chariots or fortresses. Yeah, I walk by faith. I don't follow trends. Sit down with my chest. No, I will not bend. Gain time in it. Gain time. I don't follow trends. Sit down with my chest. I will not bend. Gain time. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Straight ahead, it's a matchup of unbeatens between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles.
Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And boy, a rough start to this one as this kick goes out of bounds. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We talked about prior to the game, and it played out right there on the first play, didn't it? This offensive line is going to have its hands full all night long. Now you often speak of scripts to start a game. Does this mean that play number two, they're going to go off the script a little bit? Yeah, what's interesting is that most people, when they script now, they actually script those contingencies in, okay, in case they can't run the play they want to. It's long distance now. Let's go to that play. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Open man. That's Devontae Smith. The 20. A big play there for Philly. 54 yards. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next-gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Mr. Davis, you're a football lifer, my friend. You've called games at the highest level. You know head coaches inside and out. Please explain that one to me. Uh... <laughs> Speechless. What is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. throw on first down with Hurts and this one too low so Charles you look at this offense and really on paper at least a great situation for them upcoming they're unbeaten on the year an open week coming up after this so I guess my question any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game maybe more than any other on the schedule because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead. There he goes, right side. A big play there for Philly. 42 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. Now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And this ball game, clearly the game of the year so far. It's not very often that you find two unbeaten teams playing each other this late in the season, but that's what we have here, two heavyweights in the NFL. You're right about that, and you think about recent memories, so uh, let's take a little ginkgo right now and go down memory lane, right? 2007, 7-0 Colts, 8-0 Patriots. The Pats won 24-20. End up going 16 and 0 in the regular season before they lost in the Super Bowl against the Giants. How about 2015? 6 and 0 Broncos, 6 and 0 Packers. Denver won 29 to 10. And in 2020, Steelers and Titans were both 5 and 0. Pittsburgh won that one. That is caught by Lamb, and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Prescott off play action. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play here for Dallas. 44 yards. Now, we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. And they run the option here on first and ten. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Up the middle they go with Sanders, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after go, practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. First and ten, it's Hurts. Forced out to his left. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Six three is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Complete pass here now is second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Throwing Prescott. 
Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. A first down carry by Elliott. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Second and goal from the one. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. And go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, such a good drive. You hate to have it end in three. You think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Maher is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much because you're right. You get the extra rest. You get a chance to heal up and kind of, you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. 
You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On second and 11 now. Prescott, and he finds his target. It's Schultz. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Scott. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A big play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before halftime. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And this offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, he's got a man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They give him a gain of 38. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big gain. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this throw will be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start go, things off. Go. You take it from there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll go again with Sanders. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws. No rhythm throwing the football. And obviously... No touchdown scored in this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Naturally so. The defense was keyed in on everyone but the back on that play. And it took them an extra second to react when he got the carry. It's still a tough third down to pick up here, but a lot more manageable after an excellent carry on second down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Now Prescott. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. 
Nicobe Dean in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is taken at the 23. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 79 Broncos! They're going to look to throw. Complete. Smith has it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. down hurts and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete so another incompletion there he's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one and that is not a winning formula yeah so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here they've given him a lot to think about a lot of different looks and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Cowboy 80. Happy Rangers. Happy Rangers. Ready. They'll look to throw here. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Brings up third down. He'll try option left. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Try and throw for it with Hurts. 
toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He's tough to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Hit the streak! Hit the Check mash! Check mash! On second down, Gamewell looking for space. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. From the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to four two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Back to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. And the Cowboys force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Elliott. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Man open. It's J.J. Ortega Whiteside. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late tough now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway otherwise this one will probably get away from them so signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half here's first and ten off the play fake Prescott down under two minutes to go in this football game so the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset and no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Hasn't had his best game running the football here tonight, but hey, that's a critical spot right there to convert on third down, and he did it. And the lights are shining just a little bit brighter right now, aren't they? You remember the beginning of the game? If he gets this first down, everybody's happy. That's cool. But here, that was critical, and it really energizes them. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing here, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. It got his man complete. A big play here for Dallas. 55 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Kill, kill. Prescott to throw it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Kind of a strange ball game, Charles. We did not have a single point by either team after half. A really a defensive clinic by both sides in half number two. Wasn't that just beautiful to watch? Come on, man. Come on to the dark side with me. Wasn't that fun to see?